Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here. Got the sequel to The Root Father here for you today, cleverly entitled The Root Father Part 2. Let's go ahead and start our five minute timer. And as with any sequel, we're going to have a little bit of a review about what happened in the first video. But this will only take a few seconds because what we're working with is making sure that we have the ability to identify our root switches in production networks and to identify non-root switches. This is not just a skill you need to pass your CCN, your CCNA, your CCNA uh, and your other Cisco certification exams. It's a skill you need because as you'll learn really in your CCNP studies, we've got switch features, Cisco switching features that are really important, but some of them are gonna need to be applied only on your root switches. Then you'll have one that only needs to go on non-root switches, that kind of thing. So you need to be able to identify your root switches and as always in Cisco world it's a good idea to know more than one way to do that. Let's go to the live equipment right now and if you look carefully my friends very very carefully you may be able to see the first way to identify a root switch. And here I'm running show spanning VLAN 10 so we are look under root ID and bridge ID and cleverly highlighted, that this obviously won't be highlighted on a production network, is the phrase, this bridge is the root. As we saw in the previous video, on a non-root, you're just not going to see a line there, period. You would just see some information about the root ID. That one's the obvious one, but we know that Cisco is probably not going to give us the obvious one on our certification exams. So we need to know a couple of other ways to tell, and there are three other ways to tell. One way is to look under root ID and bridge ID and compare the MAC address that you see here. Now this threw me a little bit when I first started studying Cisco Technologies because I'd say, okay, we got a root ID and a bridge ID. You know, what's, what's the difference? Why do I have all this stuff here? Why are the addresses the same under them sometimes and not the same other times? Well, the information under root ID or next to root ID is all information relating to the root switch for VLAN 10 in this case. Bridge ID is always giving you the information about the local switch, the switch that we're actually on. So if you see the same MAC address here, you know you're on the root. If you see different MAC addresses in these two fields, then you're on a non-root switch. Another way to tell is looking under the roles. Because what you've got here, you have a DESG for designated port. You're only going to see these on the root switches. Because as odd as this sounds, you will not see root ports on root switches. And that really threw me when I first started studying. I was like, wait a minute, you know, why wouldn't a root switch have a root port? Well, if we, if we go at it logically, you can see why. Because a root port is how a switch is going to reach that root switch, right? That's the port it's going to use to get back to the root switch. Well, the thing is, the root port, and it sounds kind of zen, but the root port doesn't, excuse me, the root switch doesn't need to get to itself. It already knows where it is. So you're not going to have any root ports on your root switch. What you will have there instead are designated ports. And the fourth key here is under status. Both of these are in forwarding mode. All of your ports on your root switch, your designated ports, they're all going to be in forwarding mode. It's only on your non-roots that you're going to see some uh, one port in forwarding and the rest in blocking. So let's go back to the board here for just a moment. And I've got a list of those for you. Here are the four things to look for. And actually, very quickly, uh, I don't put GEICO ads on my videos, but I want to let you know about this particular ad. It is for my CSENT course, my CCNA course, everything I've got out on Udemy from July 21st through 31st. Sign up for any paid CCNA, CSENT, or CCNP course, and I will put you in my security video boot camp absolutely free. That means you can get CCNA and CCNA security certified for just $44, period. And just follow that link and use the Bulldog44 coupon code. Always use that code on that page. Now let's review that quickly because when you see again, the bri this bridge is the root. That means, hey, you're on the root. Surprise. But the other three are ones that are not quite as obvious. These are ones you want to watch out for in your studies. Your absence of root ports. The designated ports are all in forwarding mode. And you see the same MAC address 
in root ID and bridge ID. That is how you know you're on the root switch. Hey, you got six seconds left today. I'm going to stop it right there and we'll save that for next time or maybe I won't. There we go with two seconds to go. I am Chris Bryant. Thanks so much for watching today's video boot camp and I will see you on YouTube and out on Udemy.